Make the most of your workout with this five minute yoga flow for lower body recovery. We'll start standing with our feet slightly wider than hip width apart, toes turned outward. Inhale deeply as you sweep your arms up overhead. And exhale to squat down low into garland pose. Your hips should be below your knees with your sit bones close to the mat. Place your elbows on the inside of your knees with your palms together. You can use this leverage to encourage your knees wider apart, lifting your chest and breathe at a steady rhythm. When you're ready, place your hands flat on the mat in front of you. We're transitioning into a wide-legged standing forward bend. On your exhale, drop your head down and lift your hips up. Shift into a wide parallel stance, grounding through the outside edges of your feet with your thighs firm. Bring your hands in line with your feet and soften your neck as we take a few breaths. To come out of this pose, inhale all the way to standing. You can bring your feet in shoulder width. Stand tall and step your left foot back into a low lunge, dropping your left knee to the mat. Uncurl your toes and shift your hips forward so that your left hip is in front of your left knee and stack your right knee over your right ankle. Place your hands on top of your thigh just behind the knee joint and drop your shoulders. Exhale to sink deeper into your hips. Taking care of your legs, glutes, hips, and low back after a lower body workout will help you recover and get back at it quicker so you can maximize your progress. To switch sides, place your hands on the floor and bring your right knee back so you're on all fours. Bring your left foot forward with your right knee on the mat to repeat the pose on the other side. Rest your hands on your thigh, drop your shoulders, and sink into your hips. Pretend you have headlights on your hip bones and point them forward to make sure that your hips are square. And on your next exhale, release back onto all fours and we'll come to seated for our next pose. Bend your left knee to bring the sole of your left foot to the inside of your right thigh. Engage your core and with your right thigh firm, flex your foot for head to knee pose. Inhale, drop your shoulders and reach your arms up. Exhale and fold forwards over your right leg. You can clasp your shin, ankle, or foot. Just make sure you're keeping your spine and your legs straight. Inhale to lift your torso and switch sides. Bend your right knee so the sole of your right foot rests inside your left thigh. And with your thigh engaged and your foot flexed, inhale to reach your arms up. Drop your shoulders, engage your core, and exhale to fold over your left leg. Only fold as far as comfortable for you while keeping your spine and your legs straight. Breathe as you hold here. and gently release your legs. Shake it out. Open your legs as wide as comfortable for you while keeping your sit bones on the ground for a wide angle seated forward fold. Engaging your core and thigh muscles, extend through your heels and flex your feet. Inhale and place your hands on the floor in front of you, lengthening your spine. Relax your shoulders and maintain that length as you exhale, folding forward, walking your hands away from you. 
Relax deeper into each exhale. When you're ready, walk your hands back and we'll finish lying on our backs in corpse pose. Extend your legs wider than hip width and allow your feet to fall outwards. Place your hands by your sides, palms up, and tuck your tailbone to bring your lower back to the floor. Tuck in your chin and flatten your upper back to lengthen down your spine. Don't forget to come back for a five minute warm up before your next workout.